Hello, this is Jeff Heaton. Welcome to the first weekly update for my hybrid course that I am teaching at Washington University in St. Louis on the applications of deep neural networks with Keras and TensorFlow. It is January 14th, 2018, and this is just the very, very first kickoff of update. You'll have these weekly updates in addition to the regularly recorded video that is already online for you to watch. The idea is that these weekly updates are recorded as the semester goes on and I'll be able to address individual questions that you might be emailing me or that I see pop up in Piazza, uh, Piazza quite a bit and just give you general information as the semester progresses. The other videos that you watched were all recorded at the Washington University studio. So since these are recorded kind of a week at a time, I will be recording these at home or wherever I happen to be as the, as the semester unfolds. So this is a hybrid format. There, this is a class that I've taught here at Washington University for I guess about a year and a half. So we're very excited to see this hybrid format and to see how this really works out. You'll have four in-class sessions, so it's very important that you attend those since there's only four of those. And you will have 14 modules that correspond approximately to a week in a normal semester. So watch the updates that you get on, um, on Blackboard to make sure that you tune in for each of these. Also make sure you have the four class sessions marked on your calendar so that you're able to. The next in-class meeting will be January 22nd. The assignment, since there's a weekly one, there's an assignment that will be due on the 24th. So you might want to try to actually submit that before you actually get to the class session. There's a video entirely on submitting the first assignment, so take a look at that. That way if you have any questions, you can ask me in person when you are in class and we can take a look and make sure that everybody has their environment set up. This is a technical class, so you'll be using Python to actually submit these assignments and to work with Keras and TensorFlow and these deep learning related technologies. It's a very hands-on class. You get a chance to use this technology very much like, like I use it for, um, uh, for my own role as, as a data scientist. So there are 10 module assignments this semester and two projects and then also just a class participation grade. So make sure that you so, show up for the four in-class assignments to get your full class participation grade. Everything that you need for this class is available on the internet, whether you're a student at Washington University or not. You can access my page, which I have a link in the description so that you can get directly to there. But the information, the main links that you're going to want to look at this semester are the GitHub, Blackboard, if you're a student at Washington University and taking this course for credit, you will get your feedback there. Piazza is where you can ask actual questions as this course goes on. I give you a link directly to the videos and also the syllabus. Let me show you the information just on GitHub so that you can see that. This contains really, and you can download all of this, and I suggest that you do. You can see that each of the classes or modules has information. So look at these before the, probably look at one and two before we actually meet at the university. But all of these will have, well, the weekly video will be posted here. Obviously, there's not a link because I'm recording that even now. But there'll be the course overview, read through all of these parts, read through how to submit assignments so that you can make sure that you have everything set up so that you can properly submit assignments. And then choose how you might want to install Keras and TensorFlow and Python. You have several options available. If you want to install it directly onto your computer, you'll use the Windows or Mac instructions here. If you're using Linux, your instructions will be closer to the Mac. You can also use a IBM provided free service that's completely in the cloud if you like to as well. Uh, in the overview, I talk a little bit more about these, these particular options. I also give you a link to Blackboard, which is the learning management system that Washington University is using this semester. 
just like when you've used it for other other classes other than this one this is where you'll see the actual progress on on this class and get an idea of what your grade is before we even get into the um, to the final grading part of this you should have in email gotten a a uh, submit key from me this is a kind of hexadecimal type type uh, string that you will use with your submissions and that acts just to just so that I know who you are and it's also sort of the security to to perform those submissions you should have that by Tuesday if you don't have that then send me an email and I will make sure that um, that you've got one of those is really assignment one is nothing more than just um, just running the code to actually do the submission all right, this is everything for the first update. I will see everybody, um, everybody in class on the 22nd. Also, if you are a member of just the internet community watching this video, just email me and I'll send you a submission key. Then you can at least submit the 10 course assignments. You won't be able to submit the, the, the projects or the, the bigger part of the class, but you can check your progress on the 10, on 10 of the modules.